Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you change the Roku account that is hooked up to your Roku TV or Roku device. So to do this, we're going to head on over to Roku's website. And just quickly, I wanted to interject another option that you have. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you unlink one Roku account and then link up a new Roku account to your Roku TV or device. But an additional option that you can also do is simply go down to settings and then go over and down to system. And in your system settings, you want to find where it says advanced system settings. And then you can do a factory reset, factory resetting everything. This will also get rid of the Roku account that's hooked up to your Roku TV or device. And then after factory resetting, you'll be able to set up a different account when you're going through the setup process. But now I'm going to take you back to this other option where you can unlink a Roku account and then link up a new Roku account. They'll both get you to the same endpoint, but they're different ways to go about doing it. And I'll link their website down in the description so you can access it through there. But then we want to click where it says sign in. And then we're going to sign in with the Roku account that is currently hooked up with your device. So entering in the email and password of that Roku account that's currently hooked up with the device. And then we're going to log in by clicking submit. And once you've successfully logged in, you want to go back here towards the top and click on the little image of your account icon. And then go down and click where it says my account. And then once you're on the my account page, you're going to scroll down to the bottom. And towards the bottom, this is where you can find where it says My Streaming Devices and TVs, and it'll show you the Rokus that are hooked up with the account that you logged in with. So to unlink this Roku account from that Roku device, we just click here where it says Unlink. And then it's asking, are you sure you want to unlink this Roku TV from my Roku account? And to read over this important information, it does say unlinking your player removes the player from your Roku account, but it does not affect the channels associated with your Roku account. So Roku purchase subscription channels will continue to be billed until unsubscribed. And you can unsubscribe on the player prior to unlinking or on the web by choosing manage your subscriptions on the my account page. So to unlink this device, we're going to click here where it says unlink. And now I no longer have any devices here in the my streaming devices in TV area since I unlinked. And then again, like it was saying, you can cancel the subscriptions that are linked up with this Roku account by clicking here where it says manage your subscriptions. And if you have any active subscriptions that you'd like to unsubscribe to, you'd find them in your subscriptions area. So now I'm going to take you over to my Roku device to finish up the process of hooking up a new Roku account to my Roku TV. All right, guys. So now back over on my Roku TV that I unhooked the account from to set up a different account on this TV. What you want to do is go down in the menu to where it says streaming channels and then go over and click OK on get started. And then I'm going to activate by signing in to the Roku account. So I'm going to enter in the email, clicking OK on that. So enter in the email here and then click continue. And after entering in that email, it's going to say, please check the inbox of the email that you had entered in. Please activate within the next 30 minutes, and this screen will automatically update when you're done. So opening up the activation email that I got from Roku and clicking here where it says activate device. And then you're going to need to go through the activation process, and this is going to be exactly like you went through the first time you had set up your Roku. And once you complete these handful of steps, then your TV will now be set up and changed over to the new Roku account that you wanted to have set up with it. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.